Uh, hey guys, thanks for coming to this video. So I've been wanting to film this video for a long time. I just haven't done it yet um, because it's probably the hardest video to do. It's really hard for me to like open up and talk about things, but I feel like I should. And I've just noticed there's so many of us that deal with depression and anxiety now. Everybody is dealing with depression and anxiety in their own way. It seems like and it just it breaks my heart that we're all going through these things and we're just not happy with our life and it's just really hard to go through that i want to share my experiences with it so that maybe i could help anybody i know when i dealt with depression and anxiety i would have given anything to know that somebody else was going through the same thing that i wasn't just going crazy that it wasn't like i don't know it just i felt so alone and if i can help anybody with this video and sharing my experience then it's worth it to me so i just kind of want to share with you guys my experience and how i deal with things now that kind of make everything easier to go through okay lay down lay down Well, this is Roxy, one of my two doggies. So maybe she'll just sit in my lap because she's making noise. So first I'm gonna talk about the things that I do now that help me get through hard times in life. Everybody has things in life that happen that just is hard and just makes you want to just give up and say, I'm just gonna stay in bed all day. I don't wanna do anything. But I feel like there's just so much that we need to live for and we need to like put an effort into it and not just give up on life. For me, the main thing that I need to get through the hard situations in life is God. I think my relationship with God is the most important thing in my life. Don't know what I would do if I wasn't able to just rely on him. When things are all crazy around you, he can just give you that peace and joy that only come from him because he's not always gonna just change your situation and say, oh, okay, I'll just, you know, here you go. Life is good now. You still have to go through things in life and deal with things and, you know, whatever situations come. But the thing is, is that he's always there for you. When you have a different perspective in life and you can just see things from his perspective instead of our own, to where you're not worried and you're not anxious and you're not depressed anymore. Just having a relationship with God where you can just pray anytime you want and just give everything to him. It's just, it's made such a difference in my life. And I just wanna share that with you guys. So that's my first thing is that I will pray and rely on God to get me through whatever I'm going through. Just knowing that he's there for me and he's got everything under control. It's all in his hands. It's just, it gives me this like calm peace that it's gonna be okay. Another thing that has helped so much that I wish I would have thought about a couple years ago, just finding some songs that you love that really relate to you, but that also focuses on like getting through things and that you'll be fine after and focusing on you know picturing far away and like that it's all gonna be okay so my song that you guys can you guys should listen to if you're going through anything even though it's an old song like whenever i'm going through something i listen to this song on repeat and i never get sick of it i can li i've been listening to it every day the last like month or two and i just i love it it's brandy right here and it's just such a good song because it's talking about like you're going through stuff now and just don't like focus on after like when when this is all over i'm gonna be here with you you're gonna get through it and it'll be okay it's just changing your thoughts from right now till you know in the future when this is over when this when you're feeling better when whatever situation like it's gonna end it's gonna be okay you just need to get through it and if you focus on the end of it instead of the right now it just changes so much and you're just able to just get through it so much easier you're not focused on what's happening right now and feeling sad so finding a good song not a song that keeps you feeling sad like you really feel it where you're at in life but something that's also going to give you hope for the future that you're gonna get through it, that it's gonna be okay, 
that's really important. If you're just listening to songs that are just sad and in the moment, that's how you're gonna feel. So if you just focus on getting through it and it's just gonna make such a difference and it's gonna be so much easier to get through th the hard things in life. Those are kind of my tips for getting through things is first just relying on God, just knowing that he has it all under control. He's got you, he'll take care of you. Just praying all the time, finding some good songs that are hopeful and will just help you get out of the feeling that you're in and then also just changing your perspective and just thinking about the future think when this is over think when you're gonna get through this think about just think about further down the line don't think about right now so changing that perspective so now I'll talk about the time in my life where I had anxiety and depression and just like this fear that it just took over my life it was several months I want to say like the worst of it was probably three or four months, but it took a long time to like get back to normal. Um, so this was probably four and a half years ago. I was pregnant with my third son. It was the middle of winter, which I don't think helps if you're in a place where it's dark and snowy a lot. I hate the snow. That's why I'm down in California right now. I don't think that helped the situation, but it got so bad i had the worst anxiety like it got to the point where i wouldn't leave the house i wouldn't leave to go anywhere because i thought if i got in my car i would get in a car accident and i would die like that's it and it was constant thoughts like that i was i just kept thinking that i kept thinking my husband's gonna die in a car accident if he leaves my kids are gonna die like so i felt like something bad was gonna happen and i couldn't stop feeling that way it took over my life i couldn't do anything it was so hard to go through i was just constantly crying i was constantly just in fear for my life and my kids and my family i didn't know what to do and it it took so long to get out of that even still like sometimes i still kind of feel that like fear it's never been as bad as that i was living life like I was going through the day with my family feeling like, okay, this could be the last day I spend with them. And I like, I don't know why I felt that way, but I felt like this is, this could be like, I feel like this is my last day. Like, I feel like this is the last time I get to spend with them. I'm going to die or like, I it was just the weirdest thing, which it sounds, it sounds dumb. Like, it just sounds like it's like, why would you think that you're going to die? I don't like, it doesn't make any sense. But that's how I felt and I like at the time nobody really knew like how bad it was no like not even my husband like I didn't really like tell people I just I got to the point though where I told I kind of told my close friends and family how I was feeling and I was like I don't know what to do and they were like you just need to pray you just need to pray constantly so I started just praying and it was like every minute like I was living minute by minute like it was like this this thought's coming and I have to figure out how to get out of this thought and I would just pray. It was like, I was like constantly trying to think about other things and say, no, this is not what, what I need to be thinking right now. This is not gonna happen. I need to stop being fearful of this. First of all, it's not from God if you're being fearful, if you're feeling fear and anxiety, that's not from God. So you need to just say, you know what? This is not okay. I need to stop thinking this. I need to stop feeling this. It just, it took so long to get through it. And I just, I felt so alone. I just, I felt like I knew what was gonna happen. I knew that I was gonna die or somebody close to me was gonna die soon. I just, I can't imagine people feeling like that for people feel like this happens to people and that's how they live their entire life. Like they're just in fear. They don't wanna go anywhere they can't leave their house and it seriously takes over your life and you can't do anything. I used to watch just all these shows like I was really into the kind of um, like CSI and stuff like that like I couldn't watch like I still can't watch shows like that people dying and like thinking about that I I just think about it too much and I can't just stay okay that's a TV show I'm done with it it just kind of stays in my mind and I'm just thinking about it way too much so I just can't watch stuff like that. I can't watch like murder mystery shows or like even like the true crime stuff. I cannot watch that. It's It messes with my mind way too much. I remember I couldn't even watch a normal show where somebody died. 
Like I couldn't watch even like Disney movies, like on Frozen where the parents go and die. Like I couldn't watch that. It made me think about my family too much. It just took over my mind and I couldn't let it go. So Frozen, let it go weird. I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys because I see so many people going through it now and it's just really sad. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why, but I just want everybody to know that you're not alone. Like we all deal with this in some way or another and that it's going to end. Like I could not picture my life, you know, a year later even in the moment because I wasn't thinking that. I would sometimes think like, you know, how do I know if this is if this is really happening or not. Like, how do I know if I'm gonna be alive tomorrow or not? And I remember thinking, the only way I'll know is if I'm alive tomorrow. And when I started like kind of getting out of that mindset, I was thinking like, you know, just focus on a year from now, focus on two years from now. Like, we're gonna have this baby and he's gonna grow up and we might have more kids and we do, we have another daughter. But it just, at the time I was so stuck in that moment of what's happening right now, how I'm feeling right now. And I just wonder if I would have maybe focused on the future and getting through it and just knowing that I was gonna be okay. Like if that would have helped more, I'm sure it would have, but I just, I couldn't get out of that mindset of just the fear and anxiety that I was feeling in the moment. So I don't know where this video went, just kind of random, rambly, I don't know, but I just wanted to share my story. If anyone else is going through the same thing, like you're not alone. The fear that you're feeling is not from anything that's going to happen. And there was one quote that really changed things for me too when I would, I would just think about it a lot. Fear does not prevent death, it prevents life. And that quote just really made me think, if you're life is spent worrying and being fearful about things like that's not living so it really helped me to just kind of be like you know what i just need to let it go and forget all that stuff and just really focus on the good in my life and be like you know what maybe i i only have today to live maybe that's all you know maybe that's god's plan for my life at least i know that i've spent it doing the things I love and being with my family and friends and not just sitting here being so scared that it could happen. I just really love that quote. And I think that's all I have to talk about, at least right now. Um, let me know if this helped you in any way. Um, I just hope that if you are going through any anxiety, depression, any fear in your life, that maybe this help video helped you out in some way, just give you a little bit of hope gave you some ideas of some things you can do to kind of just change your mindset and just start feeling better. I hope this video made sense. I don't even know if I'm going to upload it, but here we are. All right. I guess I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.